Um, I just want to talk for a couple of minutes about Marie Curie Cancer Care's deployment of the Saul Caboodle CRM system and why it's, it's so vital to us. And if there's one thing I'd like you to remember about this, I guess the strap line of this presentation for me when I put it together was uh, this is when CRM becomes really important. I've just got a couple of slides just to help you um, position why Marie Curie is here. Um, this is a fantastic slide, um, and it exactly gives some context of how Mary Curie operates in the National Health Service. And uh, for those of you that are outside the UK, I apologise, but our National Health Service is undergoing some uh, severe challenges, uh, not, not least financial challenges. Um, but within all that turmoil, there, there are some constants, and that's that the el elderly people in this country are now living longer and require more care at the end of their lives. And for the first time in 30 years, the death rate is about to rise. So that's because of the baby, baby boom generation at the end of the, uh, of the Second World War. And to care for the people that are going to require care over the next 20 <coughs> years, the country is going to need 17 new hospitals to be built at a time when the NHS uh, is broke and can't really afford any hospitals. So Marie Curie, operating in this environment, has a very interesting set of social and business problems that uh, we need technology to, to help us address. So what do we do? Marie Curie is a charity, a charity who cares for people at the end of their life. So people who are going to die, um, who require specialist nursing care, uh, Marie Curie will provide that nursing care for them to allow them to die in peace and dignity at home, rather than bounce out to a hospital or go to a trolley outside uh, accident and emergency. So why we exist, 65% of people want to die at home, only 25% of people actually achieve that. Um, and last year we looked after about 2,700 patients, about a million and a half hours of care from our nurses who go into people's homes to uh, allow them to exit this world with, uh, with peace and dignity. And we got about 55% market share of people who die um, of cancer. Uh, so that's quite remarkable, because we look after 55% of people um, who, who, who will be dying of cancer. Next year, we're going to look to provide care for over 30,000 uh, patients. And that's why we're really important to the state. Um, and to do that, we have to contract with every single NHS trust uh, in the UK. Now, this is, this is a big slide for me. 25% of people get to die at home, and there's only one chance to get death right for the patient uh, and their family. And so I think Mary Curie uh, is the epitome of a one-shot service. You know, we can't say we'll get it right, we'll get it better for you next time. We only have that one chance. And that's why um, I view the CRM system and, and the way that we deploy CRM for us in getting a nurse to a patient is absolutely right. It has to be the right nurse at the right time to that particular patient. Because um, it really is the epitome of a, of a one-shot service. on is what we do with CRM and sort of Google system and where we are with it and the kind of outputs that are really important to us. So not really focusing on the technology angle at all, I'm sure Barry can answer. Any detailed question anyone may have on the technology, for me the most important thing is, is what we get out of it. Um, and what, what do we really want from it? It's quite simple, um, delivering the right care at the right place at the right time. It's vital for us. Without it, we, we couldn't get... Uh, um, a service out. And the core functionality is to allocate uh, a nurse to a patient. Now every patient is completely unique with their own set of circumstances and their own set of uh, symptoms. And we do that on the basis of geography, the patient need, the training and the skill level of the nurse. Um, now we only do this 7,000 times a week, which is not an awful lot for some of the other guys here. That's a very low transaction level. But if we get it wrong, um, the results can be absolutely, uh, absolutely catastrophic. So um, we actually have to have a system that's flexible enough um, to make our workforce as flexible uh, as absolutely possible and needs to be uh, supported by the right IT solution. And as we're a charity uh, and only part funded by the NHS, we have to be super efficient as well. And you'll see some of the efficiency uh, comments later on about how, how well, we've done with that, but if you guys in corporate land think things are a little tight out there, well, try working for a place that the only time you get money is when someone shakes tins.
So where are we now? Um, well, we're doing, we're doing really well. Against constraints, the Salty Buddha program is, is really delivering very, very well indeed. Within 3% of the budget, which is, for many IS projects, uh, as big as this one, is absolutely um, quite remarkable. We've grown new services, so new services to patients by 13%, which we couldn't do without a system before that. We knew there was a demand that we couldn't meet, which was very frustrating. Um, and as, as for the efficiency side, um, the time taken to process a patient to be able to allocate the nurse has improved by a significant proportion from 25 minutes down to 6 minutes, which is absolutely fantastic for us because it means we can just get to see more patients, take more calls, uh, and, and get more bookings out for people who, who desperately need our services. And that's made an enormous difference to us. Um, so I guess the, the, the final part from, from me, and I think this is perhaps a different slide than any of the others you'll see up there over the, over the last... Uh, couple of days, it's, it's been a real success and I think this slide is a reminder of why we do it. Um, with all the changes in the NHS that could mean in the future our customer base grows by a factor of 500, um, which for a charity is uh, incredible how the hell we're going to deal with that, uh, with that outcome. We needed a system that would give us the flexibility to, to be able to provide a service for patients in that, uh, in, in that world. Um, without that system we couldn't do what we see in the slide.